what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a resin casting of the top of this stock 55 Buick Century piston. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to know uh, the capacity or the volume of this dome. And the reason I want to do that is because if you're buying aftermarket pistons, um, you want to be sure that what you're getting is the correct uh, volume um, piston so you have the right compression ratio. So what I have here is I got some fiberglass resin and I got a little bit of hardener there. Mixing cup, piston, I'll show you what I'm going to use that for and a little bit of electrical tape. Um, the first thing I want to do <clears throat> is make sure that the resin doesn't get down into the ring grooves especially if you're using your new replacement piston and of course you want to get an accurate reading so you want to lose any of that resin so I'm just going to wrap this up a little bit until we got a good overlap and stretch that out there we go there we go now take a standard paint cup this is a PPG mixing cup. You can get them anywhere. Um, and I cut the uh, bottom off. And the reason I did that, because now this will fit. And you can adjust how much you cut off. But what I did was press that down, and that will give you a real tight seal. Okay, there's one other thing that I want to do. Obviously, I don't want this fiberglass resin to stick. So I got some silicone spray and I just want to lightly coat that piston with the silicone spray. You want to make sure you get it completely covered and let anything run off that you don't want any excess on there. Okay. And then you want to mix up your fiberglass resin. done two of these uh, resin molds so I'm going to finish off the can here and it only takes approximately an hour or so to uh, for this to harden we'll put in the hardener and I'm going to use the rest of it because I've metered it out so I basically got three resin castings out of that one uh, one container there, which I thought was a pretty good deal. About six, seven dollars to do this. Get her mixed up good. Make sure you get it all blended so you don't have any soft spots. The only thing I did on this, I put a little dab of silicone in the center of the piston because um, there's a pretty deep hole there for where they obviously machined it, the centering point. And um, I didn't want to have a problem of getting this mold off of here, so okay, just about got it mixed up here. Okay, okay get it on a level surface and go ahead and pour it in. All you got to do is get it up above the piston. You don't really have to go any farther than that. That's all you really need is right there. I mixed up more than I needed, but like I said, there wouldn't have been enough left to do another one. So, And that's pretty much it. Uh, give it about an hour, and uh, we'll pop that um, mold off the top of that piston.